The Imamate of Imam Sadiq was a defining and pivotal period of time for the Shia. He was the Imam for 34 years and during this time he turned Medina into a city of learning for all, with thousands of students coming to his classes to benefit and take from his ocean of knowledge. In addition to Imam Sadiq's role as a teacher of religious sciences, just like the other Imams, he also played a significant role in teaching people the role and responsibilities they had to one another in society. For the Imams, learning religious practice was only part of a person's path to success. They also need to be aware of how to behave with one another and ensure they do not take the right of another wrongly. For this reason, the Imam made sure that he was not aloof of people's situation and always acted justly and with the rights of the people in mind. One story demonstrates this justice perfectly. A drought had hit Medina and hoarding had resulted in the prices of wheat getting more expensive day by day. The situation was so bad that even the wealthier people in the city were finding it very hard to cope and they were forced to make bread from mixing wheat with poor quality barley in order to get by. People were resorting to buying little amounts of wheat on a day-to-day -day basis. When the Imam found out about this situation, he asked his servant Mu'attib, who was in charge of buying the groceries for the house, how much food do we have? Mu'attib replied, we have enough food to suffice for many months. The Imam upon hearing this told Mu'attib immediately, take it out and sell it, for I detest eating good quality food whilst everyone is stuck with poor quality food. Mu'attib upon hearing this was shocked and protested, but Imam, there is no food available currently in Medina. The Imam replied again, you must sell it. From now on you should buy food bit by bit every day just like the others are doing. From now on prepare food like the others do, half from wheat and half from barley. It would be easy for me to provide food to my family from just the good quality wheat, but I love for Allah to see me organize my sustenance in the best way. Through this the Imam is showing that our actions have consequences on others. At a time when people were hoarding wheat, the Imam refused to watch on in silence and did whatever he could do to make the situation better, even if it meant it would be detrimental to his own self. He also made sure that he lived like them, experienced what they experienced and didn't allow himself to live more comfortably than others. The Imam put community before comfort, principles before profit.